Joining me on the line is Andy Page. He's the past president of Christchurch Grass Cats Club, and they've got some really exciting news they want to tell us about. Good evening, Andy. Good night. How are you doing, Nick? Good, thank you. Um, you've been um, racing outside of the city, have you, for many years? Yes, we've been um, we've been sort of um, up tram road sort of area for quite a wee while now. Um, sometimes having to travel quite a bit of distance to find a bit of paddock to race on. And what's happened? Has somebody come up with something better? Yeah, well, what's what's been going on for us is um, I don't do whether you're um, aware of the area, but we're going to be moving out to Weedens Ross Road where there's um, already more park speedway set up out there and um, the off-road club is right next door to us as well. So we're going to be moving in next door to them and it's going to sort of bring three venues together. How did this so happen? Has somebody given you some money? Well, yeah, we've had lots of sponsors, actually. It was, it was, a, it was we took over the lease from where the um, motocross bikes used to race there. And we've had to do quite a lot of excavation and that sort of stuff to get it up to scratch. We got the lease for a good price, but we've, you know, we've been sponsored over um, nearly sixty thousand dollars so far, which is really quite amazing. A lot of just private sponsors and just small businesses, you know. Give, give us some idea of the club membership. How many people actively race? About oh, well, we actively normally would get about one hundred and twenty at each race meeting, and our membership sits around that one hundred and eighty to two hundred mark. Goodness me. I was watching a, um, a documentary about Lewis Hamilton the other day, and I don't mm -hmm. know whether his start was on hard service or on grass track, but it was definitely carts. And you could see oh, this little boy was about six or seven years old or something with his dad. It was an amazing story, and it went through how his dad made all these huge sacrifices, you know, to fund his progression through racing. And it really well, all does begin on with the grass carts, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it, it, it is the grassroots, you know. We're... We have probably the less regulations than anything else. I mean, you could go past hill racing as well, of course. Uh, but I mean, all those carts have to be FIA regulated now, and so it's more difficult to get there on an entry level. Um, our carts, you can you can still build your own, you know. Um, we've got, and we've raced between the ages of five to seventy-five. You know, the oldest guy in our club, seventy-five years old. Well, if you weren't building your own cart and it was just a bit beyond you, can you give us some idea of how much it would cost to buy one, you know, that you could compete in? Well, they, they vary. You'd see them on Trade Me and things like that. Um, you'd probably, you can pick up, you can pick them up from $1,000 through to about $10,000. But um, then they, they are available. They do come up. There's people who build them. Um, there's plenty of people around the club to help you. So how big are the engines on these? Are they lawnmower engines? No, 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 no. The, um, they vary, of course, for ages. The five-year-olds, they get a, um, up to 110 cc's of motorcycle engine. All oh, right, yep. Um, and then the next is the intermediate grade. They get they get up to 200 cc's. And then the juniors get up to 200 cc's as well. And then the adults, anything up to 510 uh, well, going back to the Lewis Hamilton documentary again, in the early years it probably wasn't so bad, but it, it became more expensive, obviously, as he went through the different grades. How much does it cost, realistically, to go to a race meeting, apart from the fact that you've got to have your own cart? Oh, the, the cost is really low. Um, our race fees are $35, I think, 35 yeah. Um, and basically, it's your petrol you're not going to. You don't wear your tyres out at a race meeting. You you might have a breakage or something like that. But unless you don't blow it up, <laughs> it's only going to cost you probably about fifty or sixty dollars for the day. So it's. I mean, it's not like you need your own pit crew, is it? Or oh, are there no, are, are no, there quite no, a few last minute repairs and running repairs as you go? Oh yeah, yeah, there are, there are. But there's always the pits are always busy, you know. That a lot of people come out there in family groups, of course, so they have their own little pit group going on. Um, that's that's the main thing about the club is really to aim at families and teaching people to drive. It's, we don't have prizes or we have trophies on the line every month. It's just um, it's just come out and have a skid, really. So do people bring a picnic or do you have a barbecue or is it a mixture yeah. of that sort of thing? Yeah, once, well, once we get into this new facility, we're going to be able to have a lot more of that stuff because we can build our own buildings now and um, we've got power on site now. 
which is something we've all never had because we've just been in a farmer's paddock up to now. What um, about safety? Do you need a, an ambulance there? Yes, yeah, we do have an ambulance. Oh, OK. And let's just, while we're on that subject, um, it is a little bit risky. Do you Have, have you had many injuries? Um, we've had a few, but not, 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 not any more than, um, say, any other form of motorsport, I wouldn't think. Um, the odd broken bone if something doesn't go quite right. Um, but as general safety, nobody's been hurt enough not to come back. Uh, there was a huge event on recently, um, I think it was down south somewhere, and I, th I think I heard you commentating. What was it like for you, who's been racing all your life, being in the commentary box? Um, well, that day it was really cold, actually, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, um, no, it was different. I sort of couldn't keep up with it as well as what I thought I could, but, but it, was, it was handy to know some of the people, you know. It sort of made it easier. It's the first time I've done it, so... <laughs> Was it a laugh? Now I think we've got um, a map of the area that you were talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. If we can yep. just get that up again, and you can tell us exactly where the. Um, oh no, we don't actually. Um, I could see my producer was looking for one, but Look we don't. For one. <laughs> but just just tell yeah. us again where it is and and how well, often you meet. It's on Weedens Ross Road. Um, we haven't shifted there permanently yet. Um, we're still building the track, of course. Um, but it's right next to Moore Park Speedway. Um, which is so you've got to heat up the old west coast road and you'll see a sign on to turn towards the river or onto Whedon's Ross Road and you, you won't miss the um, off-road sign or the um, the Moor Park Speedway sign and just follow those until we get our own sign up of course Now imagine that it's not just open to people racing, that spectators are welcome to go yep. along and have a bit of a day out free, for yeah, Sure, yeah Great stuff. Well, look, when we do get a map, we'll put it up on our page. And we'll, Do you have a Facebook page for the club? Well, they've just, just done one, yeah, they do. Um, okay, well, we'll try and link to that once we... We'll try and link to that, but, but we, we are available at Christchurch.grasscarts.com. Um, Great stuff. Past president yeah. of the Christchurch Grass Carts Club, Andy Page, thank you very much for joining us this evening on After Dark. Thanks, Nick. Cheers. Cheers, and good night to you.